Welcome, everyone, to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. We've got the Los Angeles Lakers taking on the Boston Celtics. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. We've got West. Nelson is out there with Baylor. Then it's Barnett, and it's LaRusso in at the center. Havlicek, the pass to Jones. Over West. Jones, no luck. And the D does just enough to throw off his rhythm on that shot. Up again. And that'll start us off already. You can feel the tension in this arena. Boy, I tell you, you're right. You can feel this one looking like it's going to be a tight one throughout. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Jerry West. And, guys, that's what KC gives you. You know, not always about the high field goal percentage or the monster games offensively, but night after night, this guy is just a flat-out winner. The first one falls. And so Jones nails both of them. Now West. Right wing. Barnett, no good. And it's Jones with the ball for the Celtics. Here's Havlicek. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. West against Havlicek. Here's Baylor. And it's sent back by Russell. Great timing there. Outstanding instincts by Bill Russell. In the long, long reach, it's a wrap. Now here's Jones. Havlicek, the pass to Russell. And he converts the layup. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Barnett, no good. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. Sanders' shot is good. How about three or four up the floor to start? That's always a good sign. They're really on their heels at this point. Yeah, on both ends of the floor, Kevin. They've lost some confidence along the way. Here's Baylor. Elgin Baylor gets the bucket and absorbs some contact. And what's unique about Baylor, he can score from a variety of angles and really good off of either shoulder. Just great extension and body control. Sanders against Nelson. Outside, Jones. Four on the clock. The shot's good. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Here's Barnett. Pass to West. And here's Sanders. Jones finds Russell. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by West. Three on three. Now the pass to Barnett. Back to West. Pass to LaRusso. Five to shoot. Here's Barnett. And Sanders pulls it down. Well, I like the defense there. Right up in his grill. Didn't give him a chance. He kicks it to Havlicek. Jones. No one around him. It's good from long range. Jones has got five points so far. And guys, there are two types of stars. Uh, I mean, the guy who makes himself look better, and then there's the guy 
who makes his teammates look better. Russell is clearly the latter. And the Celtics with possession here after the basket by the Lakers. Jones drives in. That's in. And he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Barnett passes to West. It's good. And you know, a tough, crafty score inside. West showing you he's not just an elite jump shooter. West against Jones. Out to Russell. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Moving it up. And it's sent back by Russell. And he's able to get it back. And the shot goes down. Really nice job moving the ball around that time. Picking apart that defense. West against Jones. To the paint. And Russell gets it to go on the assist from Jones. Russell's got his second bucket of the game to go. Lakers trail by seven. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Defends the Celtics. Baylor with the ball. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. You know, the power and grace of Elgin Baylor, just too much to handle. This time he draws the foul. It's his first trip to the line. First free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. And, you know, beyond all the things Baylor gives you, he's an entertainer out on the floor. The acrobatics we see, something spectacular from this guy almost every game. Now here's Jones. Lays it up off the glass. Jones has got six points. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Quality looks they're getting and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensive. Barnett against Jones. Aruso, terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. It's a five-point game. It's Jones on the way. But he gets the call and will shoot two. Oh, the lightning quickness, the cool demeanor. Just no one works harder at the game of basketball than, than Jones. He, he's always in shape and always ready to make a play. That one is no good. Lakers trail by six. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Now here's Jones. He has six. The feet to Sanders. Down low, Russell. Offensive rebound. Goes up again. A steal. LaRusso against Jones. Second chance shot, and Jones sends it back. They recover it. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Watch out. Yeah, an explosive athlete, the precursor to the high flyers, prone to the spectacular Baylor with a strong move. Jones, the pass to Jones. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got three assists now in this one. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Now here's West. And it 
It's sent back by Russell. And a fast break now for the Celtics. Here's Sanders. Yep, that one goes in there. Now it's a six-point Celtic lead. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Celtics. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. Yeah, the other thing, though, is they have attacked in the open floor. They're definitely getting a lot of easy ones that way. And the Lakers call time here. And team strategies mostly guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. against Jones. Kept alive. Caruso tries it again. And that's two points on the layup. Caruso's got eight points. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with the soft touch to match. Now here's Jones. Eight points for him. Here's Russell. He can't get it to go. Good work defensively by Baylor. Lakers trail by four up jumper that misses off the back wall. so hard actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this bad inside and the call on the shot that sends him to the line and you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim yeah i couldn't agree with you more i mean that's the message they were sending with that foul Nothing easy inside. For Boston, they have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. Sanders hits them both. Here's Barnett. The dish to Baylor. Pass to West. Over Jones. A rebound by the Celtics. Russell's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. West against Jones. Pass to Russell. He feeds it to Sanders. And Sanders throws it down. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. To the middle. Here's LaRusso. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. That pass into the paint. That is a work of art there. Dead on target. Austin leading by eight. Outside, Jones. And it's Russell in the corner. The kick out to Havlicek. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Havlicek's got five. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Barnett passes to Nelson to the inside. Caruso and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Bill Russell. And guys, there's a reason they call him Rough House Rudy. Every time we see LaRusso, there's a toughness that he'll bring to the game. Both good from the line that time. 156 left in the first quarter. Jones looking for an opening. And Bill 
Marshall slams it in. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, they're doing everything right. How about that? I mean, this could turn into a blowout very quickly. Here's West following the bucket by the Celtics. And the pass to Barnett. The speedy hands of Sam Jones cause the steal. And Jones sends it home. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. Now here's West. Barnett against Jones. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And the one thing you love about Barnett, he'll do anything the coaches ask. Start, come off the bench, score, or facilitate. He is completely unselfish. He hits both from the strike. 103 left here in the first quarter. Jones in the post. Arnett covering. Here's Sanders. No good that time. And the Lakers take it the other way. Jones against Barnett. No good. Still playing with the cold hand. Makes him just one for eight. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Straight power, homie. I mean, he ripped it down <laughs> with both hands. Absolutely a resounding dunk. Yeah, for sure. That was a take no chances, take no prisoner slam right there, guys. The Lakers with the ball after the basket by Boston. West outside to the middle, stolen by Havlicek. And now Jones running the floor all by himself. Lays it in off the breakaway. Jones has got 10 points. That's four connections and five tries now for him in what's been a great first quarter. And that one's good by Baylor. The only way he was getting to the hoop was to use the double clutch. There's 10 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Outside, Jones. Excellent defense there. We know what kind of competitor West is. I mean, right up on top of the shooter there. And so it's Boston looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We come back right after this. with us folks second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and for the Celtics here they've been putting on a show guys well, in that first quarter they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low yeah and it's worked they've got a clear edge and points in the paint now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside Lakers trail by 13 taking a look at the Lakers they've got Nelson King is up there with Barnett, and it's LaRusso, and it's Baylor in at the small forward. Back to King. Passes it to Barnett. Down to five on the shot clock. It's Nelson atop the key. Not enough on that one as it misses. Celtics leading by 13. Now Havlicek. with the rebound and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight but not sure on that possession King the pass to Baylor King outside back to Baylor on the wing a rebound by Bill Russell Russell's got his fifth rebound right now in the game Here's Havlicek. 
And it's rebounded by LaRusso. Russo's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Barnett laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Barnett's got the first basket of the second quarter for the Lakers. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Here's Siegfried. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Down it goes. Nice one there from Heinsohn. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Barnett against Havlicek. Barnett passes to Nelson. To the paint. There's LaRusso. Good. And a nice assist from Nelson. Russo's got 14 points for the game. If you allow him to get that close, you deserve to get scored on. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Siegfried gets the bucket. And the Celtics lead by 13. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. The putback, they get the rebound. No good from Baylor. Celtics leading by 13. Down low, here's Hanson. Kicks it out to Jones. Pass to Sig. Back to Jones. He's looking for Russell and finds him. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. This one thing else that separates Russell from other bigs, I mean, the speed to outrun those out. guys on the court. Los Angeles calls timeout. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. From the inbound, Baylor once again going strong to the hoop. Boy, I tell you what, what a well-designed play. Executed beautifully, too. Here's Siegfried. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And there it is for him. Siegfried's got his second basket of the game. Lakers trail by 15. To Barnett. And the dunk to finish it off. A uh, beauty. And, and no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one hand pull punch. And they double up Russell. Five on the clock. 15 feet away, rebound the Lakers. Nelson's got his fourth rebound in this one. And here is Baylor, 10 points for him. He lobs up the alley-oop pass, takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And you know that goes to his versatility. Baylor with a number of scoring moves in his toolkit. Here's Siegfried. Inside, Heinsohn. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. I'll tell you what, Heinsohn is a competitor. But for me, where, where he really gets you is with his body control and then that superb shooting touch. For Boston, they have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. And he knocks down the first one. Austin making a switch here. Williams is checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 
Here's King. Feeds to Nelson. Lakers working the ball around now. King outside. Six to shoot. Tries again. Goes back up. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And Boston called for the foul. The Lakers have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six. No good on the free throw. And he sinks the second. Celtics leading by 12. Here's Jones. Rebound the Lakers. Baylor's got five rebounds tonight. And they double up Baylor to the middle. Here's King. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. So the Celtics call timeout their first. Here's Boston now. Here's Siegfried. The pass to Russell. Here's Siegfried. Shot clock at three. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Russo, the pass to King. To the inside. LaRusso, no good. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Ten-point lead. And it's good. Two points. Jones has got ten points in the game. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. And there's the call on Jones. That'll be his second foul of the game. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. Russo And the rejection by Russell. And now here comes Jones leading the break. Here's Heinsohn. Off target with his three. Lakers trail by 12. Here's the floater. And it's sent back by Russell. And a pass break now for the Celtics. They grab their own miss. Jones the pass to Heinsohn. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Goes back up. Here's Williams. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Williams has got his first two points. Here are the Lakers with the ball. King, right side, passes it to Barnett. He dishes it to Nelson. It's not going to go for him. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Williams against Baylor. Ball's knocked loose. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. On defense, the Lakers. They trail by 14. And there's the call on Joe. And that'll be his third foul so far. Here's King. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Barnett passes to King. 
right side, Baylor. Good, and a nice assist from Nelson. Nelson's got his fourth assist in this one. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. And Bill Russell slams it in. And the relentless nature that is Bill Russell. Always working for the best scoring opportunity. Won't find one better than that. Lakers trail by 14. Elgin Baylor on the wing. Over Williams. Baylor. Pass to Barnett. Hit the floater. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the way up. Barnett's got six in the quarter. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Here's Siegfried. Outside Russell. To the paint. Intercepted. King with it. Down low. Here's Barnett over Jones. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Sam Jones. The Lakers have been coming through at the charity store. They've made seven of their eight attempts. The first free throw is good. Jones checked in for Jones. He makes one of two that time. Celtics leading by 11. Pass to Jones. Baylor on the double team. Nice ball movement by Boston. Williams gets the bucket. Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. Williams has gone two or three from the floor. King outside. There's the pass to Baylor. Over Williams. Throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. That free throw good from Baylor. And so Baylor nails both of them. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for Boston. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Baylor. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. He's gone two for two at the line so far. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter. That's superb. Lakers trail by 12. Here's Barnett. Rebound by Williams. Feels to me like this team is going to need more from him, guys. I mean, if they're to erase this deficit, he's got to step up. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Here's Barnett. 11 points in the game. Second chance effort. Can't hit from in close. Celtics leading by 14. Here's Jones. Off with the layup. 125 left here in the second. King with it. Jones covering. Barnett passes to LaRusso. Another shot. Can't capitalize inside. It's really a tale of two quarters. Shot it so well in the last, but this one can't get anything to fall. Yep, it counts. Heinzen's got six in the quarter. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. A fadeaway. And another field goal in this total. Make it seven for 14, shooting 50%. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. Here's Russell and the slam dunk by Russell. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and power. Here's Baylor, and it's sent back by Russell. Six-second difference between shot and game play. 
Heinz in the pass to Russell. Well, individually, Russell affects the game in so many ways, but as a teammate, I just think he elevates everybody else's play, makes them better. The Celtics have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. And that one misses. Sanders checked in for Boston. Havlicek comes in for Siegfried. Good on the second free throw. Lakers trail by 17. Now here's King. And there's the call on Jones. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. The Lakers have been getting it done at the line. 10 for 12. First one falls for him. So he gets them both. There's 14 seconds left in the first half of the game. Havlicek against Barnett. Jones dishes to Russell. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. He's off on the first. You know, it's been a bad day for them at the line today as a whole, and far too often, that's the case for this team. He hits the second from the line. And so a pretty lopsided game for the first half. Celtics lead by 16. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. After one half of play, it's been a one-sided affair. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Boston had no problems getting going. Tenacious on both ends of the floor, they took command early with a 13-2 run. They ran away with the opening quarter. Their lead was 13 points at the end of the first. Then in quarter number two, they actually increased their intensity to pull further out in front, finishing with a double-digit advantage at the half. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, shooters were popping open right and left. Exceptional ball movement. Guys racing off screens, spotting up, knocking down shots. That's the way you play basketball unselfishly, and it was superb, and they exploited all the weaknesses of the defense. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? Well, the shooting was terrible. Uh, they didn't seem to have a plan at the offensive end. Let's see. The, the defense had them bottled up. Listen, I'm not a And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. With the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. It's been a clinic so far from Elgin Baylor. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. Here's Baylor. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the floor for Boston. Havlicek is out there with Sanders. And it's Smith. Then it's Jones. And it's Russell in at the five spot. Yet that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. Sanders passes to Havlicek. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Havlicek's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Celtics. The feed now to Baylor. A power dunk by Elgin Baylor. Well, I tell you what, once Baylor gets into a groove the way he has tonight, he can absolutely carry the load on offense. Jones, the pass to Smith. And now West pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Over Jones. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Jones. 
I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. And the first one at the line is good. And, and you look at all the things this man brings to the game. The focus, the resolve, a winner's mindset. I mean, there's a reason why they call him the logo. The Celtics making a switch here. Jones has checked in. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. Outside, Jones. Makes it off the glass. Jones has got 13. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. down low working on Jones count that one and the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot well I'm going to credit the screen I mean that's a good strong pick he lays there here's Sanders and Sanders throws it down and not the prototype power forward but he has tremendous athletic ability Lakers trail by 16 Here's Barnett. 11 points in the game. Kicks it to Baylor. Passes to Barnett. Just four to shoot. Rebound Boston. Not a whole lot going down for him at this point. He just can't buy a break. And so it's Boston with it. Outside, Jones. Russell left side. And it's the Lakers on the break. Here's West. With that, Russell now up to 10 rebounds. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Stolen. Here's the break. Here's Baylor. And it's Russell with the rebound. Russell's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Inside, here's Jones. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth, he is six for nine on the stat sheet. They are on fire right now. That's four straight mates. Pass to Barnett. Here's LaRusso. Here's Baylor. Hits the target from 18 feet. Baylor's got four points this quarter. His mid-range shot is very solid. I mean, for some reason, the defense let him have it. West against Jones. Pass to Havlicek. No one near him. The offensive rebound. Russell. And Bill Russell slams it in. Really crashing that offensive glass. The instincts, the long arms, the quickness of jump. Russell kills you with second chance points. West passes to Baylor. Balls. Nice feed that time from Jerry West. Baylor's got 25 points. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. They double him with West. Jones kicks to Jones. Sanders passes to Jones. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Jones has got 13. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for Boston. And they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. You know, something else I've noticed is just how many of their baskets have been set up by assists throughout the game. Both free throws good from Havlicek. Yeah, and among the many things to like about Hondo, he is strictly about the team. Willing to take on any role, he just wants to win. Barnett against Jones. Nelson, the pass to Baylor. Here's Barnett. Pocket six. 
looking to get back on track here. There's the killer two-handed slam. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Lakers trailed by 19. The pass to Barnett. Now, Baylor. West outside. Plays it up and banks it in. West has got six here in this quarter. And the defense no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. West against Jones. To the inside. And Russell gets it to go on the assist from Jones. Jones has got six assists in the game. And it's the Lakers ball. 19-point game. Here's Barnett. He's got 13. Passes it to LaRusso. Outside Baylor. Lakers working the ball around now. Here's Barnett. And no good that time. Good D by Sanders. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. The Lakers with the ball. Now West. He's got eight. Pass to Baylor. Some solid defensive work there from Havlicek. And it's Jones with the ball for the Celtics. A 21-point lead, the biggest in the game. Count it good. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Nelson, no luck. Celtics leading by 23. Sanders, high post. And Sanders throws it down effort and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. And here's Los Angeles and the time Lakers out, time call out. time here. Bill Russell really making a difference here. And he's getting to the rack all game and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. making a change here. Kings checked in. And stolen by Russell. And the slam dunk by Russell. Yeah, changing ends. Not many guys can keep up with Russell. But there's also the intelligence he brings. Knowing exactly where to go for the finish. West against Jones. West passes to Baylor. Shoots over Havlicek. The shot by Baylor, no good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. And remember, Havlicek was a highly recruited quarterback, so you see his passing ability on that one. And here is West. Eight points for him. There is that fast release from West. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. West has gone four of eight from the floor. 50% on the night. Pass to Sanders. To the paint. 
and the slam dunk by Russell. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. King with it. Elgin Baylor on the wing. Left. It's good. With that basket, he's now five for nine. A, a, a tough first half, but it's been a different story here since the break. Now here's Jones. 17 points in the game. Outside, Jones. Kept alive by Boston. Russell, no luck. One on one, fast break. Here's Barnett, tipped away. And Sanders pulls it down. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. And John Havlicek, the bucket, on the assist by Jones. Havlicek's got 13 points. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. You know, nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. Here's Jones. Russell trying to free himself up, and he gets it back. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Russo's got 11 rebounds in the game. To the middle, here's Baylor. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Bill Russell. This will make four trips to the line so far in the game. And he makes the first. Heinzen's checked in for the Celtics. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Outside, Jones. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Jones has got eight here in the quarter. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. We've got 128 left in the third. Here's West. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. Boy, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. They've shared the load offensively. And guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react. And that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. Jones drives in. Outside, Jones. Nice ball movement by Boston. Shot clock at six. Heinz in the pass to Jones. And they'll turn over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. There's 53 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. West up on top, defended by Jones, and that one good. West has got 14 points now in the second half. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. Here's Jones, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. And the first one drops. No good on the second free throw. And it's the Lakers ball. Here's West. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And it's on John Havlicek. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. The first one falls. And 
And so he makes both from the line. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Jones drives in. And another basket to his impressive total. It's his ninth against 12 attempts. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. King gets stolen by Jones. And now Jones running the floor all by himself. you got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. And so it's Boston with a massive lead of 30 points here at the end of the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And we'll be back with you shortly. Quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. And the Celtics with possession here. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. King is out there with West. Then it's Johnson. Then it's Bailey. And it's Brown in at the small forward position. Rock up two there. Hinton's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Celtics. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Back to West. Trying to get open is Johnson. Can't hit that one. Excellent defense there from Smith. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. The kick out to Williams. Outside, Jones. Six on the shot clock. Williams in the post. Baylor defending. Outside, Jones. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Baylor. Baylor's got seven rebounds in the game. To the inside. And there's Brown. That's good on the assist by Baylor. Terrific accuracy on that pass. That's how you lead your teammate. And it's Jones with the ball for the Celtics. Inside, here's Heinsohn. Nifty move. Doesn't go for him. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Down low, here's West. And Jones sends it back. And they'll keep possession. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Jones drives in. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. You know, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And that one falls for Jones. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. Celtics making a switch here. Counts checked in. Smith checked in for the Lakers. Davis comes in for West. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. To the paint. Here's Smith. And three chances on that possession. But they just couldn't find a way to score. On the basket by Jones. Jones has got 27. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Feeds it to Johnson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on Jones. And he makes the first. Sig reject in for Jones. And he makes both free throws. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Siegfried, the pass to Williams. Good work defensively by Bailey. 
Williams has gone two for five tonight. Baylor dishes to Davis. Brown outside. Just five to shoot. Back to Davis. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Here's Siegfried. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact, straightforward call, simple. And he knocks down the first one. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Now Davis. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. And Baylor throws it down. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. Here's Siegfried, who's guarded by Davis. Siegfried, the pass to Williams. Here's Counts. And they immediately answer back with a dunk at the other end. Ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Brown outside. The pass to Smith. Outside, Davis. Shot clock at six. Brown against Williams. It's taken away by Smith. And pushing it up, here's Boston. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one is off. Thompson, he's checked in for Boston. So he can't get either to fall. Here's Los Angeles now. Here's Davis. Tips it up. Great positioning on the putback. Baylor's got six here in this quarter. And, and you know what? He's really been one of the few bright spots for them trying to will this team to victory. Siegfried, the pass to Jones. Thompson misses. Brown outside. And here's Jones. Here's Thompson. And Baylor with the block. And he recovers it. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. Baylor, that's good. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. Here's Thompson. And Baylor with the block. And he's able to get it back. The shot by Thompson, no good. And he's trying to shoot his way out of it. You know, they have the lead, but honestly, I, I think it might help if he'd be a little bit more selective tonight. Smith with it. Now Smith defending. Up the floor. Jones, no luck. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Lots of room. Buries the jump shot. Baylor's got 18 points just in the second half. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Here's Siegfried. Passes to Counts. contact on the shot so he'll be shooting free throws here yeah easy call yeah you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are first free throw is good Williams he's checked in for the Lakers a 
both shots good from the strike. So it's the Lakers now. Davis, the pass to Brown. Williams kicks to Smith. Shot clock at five. It's Davis on the wing. Williams trying to break free, and it's Davis missing. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And taken away by Brown. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break. And it's Smith that time on the assist by Davis. Davis has got three assists in the game. Pressuring the ball and making a play that created the opportunity. You know, you push it after a steal, there's almost no chance the defense can get back and recover. Here's Siegfried inside. Just five on the clock. From the high post, the Lakers with the rebound. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Smith's gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. Smith against Brown. Smith the pass to six. Down low. Here's Thompson. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. They're taking it right into the teeth of the defense, and, and it's a defense that's starting to look frustrated. Well, they should be. I mean, it has not been a good performance for them at that end of the floor. Pass to Brown. Back to Smith. Outside Williams. And here's Davis for three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Thompson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass to Siegfried. Back to Thompson. He shoots again. A second chance effort. He can't get that one to fall. Excellent D there from Williams. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. Nice job hitting him right in stride. Excellent play. Here's Siegfried. He's guarded by Davis. Here's Thompson. A rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Austin making a switch here. Smith has checked in. Davis with it. He kicks it to Smith. And there's the pass to Williams. And Jones sends it back. Here's Siegfried, covered by Smith. On the wing, Thompson. Good on the bucket. Here's the Lakers with the ball. Outside, Davis. Williams looking over the floor. Brown kicks to Smith. Tries again. Thompson with the rebound. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Smith dishes to Thompson. Lock at six. From 10 feet out, and he overshot that one, missing. And it's the Lakers' ball. Williams with the ball. Jones covering. Williams kicks to Smith. Back to Williams. 
now here is Davis. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Free throw drop for Smith. Williams, he's checked in for Jones. Both free throws good from Smith. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside, Davis. Smith against Smith. Davis surveying the floor. Shoots from the elbow. No good. Shot missing. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Got a piece of it. It's taken away by Smith. Tries from 16. Here's Johnson. Out to Smith. Five on the clock. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. They get a hand on it. Yeah, good job. Just staying alert there, snatching up that long rebound. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.